This video will guide you through the basic configuration items when using the mobile client on Android. When launching the mobile client app for the first time, you'll be required to accept a user license agreement and will then be taken to the login page. Here you need to enter the connection URL which can be provided to you by your 3C administrator, followed by your Windows username and password. Upon signing in you'll be greeted by your contact lists if you already have configured any such list by the 3C UC client application on your desktop. Opening a list will show all the contacts in that list, sorting by default, surname first. To change this sorting order, select more at the top right, then preferences and disable the item called display surname first. Going back to your contact list you should now see your contacts listed first name first. Another item that may be applicable under Preferences would be the Make Call Confirmation. With this option enabled, when a call is made using the mobile client, you'll receive a pop-up which is forcing you to confirm that the call is being made using your default device. The Make Call Confirmation can be disabled under Preferences and is linked to your default device which is set under your profile, which is accessible under the More option. The Make Call confirmation forces you to confirm that you're making a call from your default device, but what if you want to choose the device to make the call from? Well, on the contact that you wish to call, simply press and hold the call button until you're greeted with the option to choose from a list of your own devices. With the call confirmation enabled, you'll receive a pop-up which is forcing you to confirm that the call is being made using the device of your choosing. On the profile page, the default device for the mobile client can be set to suit your needs. Please bear in mind that setting a default device is set per application and not per user. If you're using the mobile client and have a soft phone license with it, then setting the default device to be your mobile client soft phone is recommended. You can leave this setting as automatic. Any call being initiated from the mobile client will be using the soft phone, and if the soft phone is temporarily unavailable, then the mobile client will automatically use the GSM part of your smartphone. Under the profile page, you can also change your call offering, just like on the UC client. Furthermore, you can change your present state, your message of the day, and activate your preferred forwarding profiles. Any changes made in the mobile client to your preferences are updated centrally and are as such visible in the UC client as well. So that's all for this video. I hope it's been useful for you in finding out how to configure the essentials in the Android mobile client. Please be sure to check out our other videos, especially those relating to using the essentials in the iOS and the Android mobile clients. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.